Hi, everybody. It's Olivia Blanchard at The Brand Builder again. And our next question is from Wekas Ali. Hi, Olivia. Want to know what's on your regular reading for brand building and Web 2.0 stuff other than sites like Mashable or TechCrunch? Well, funny you should ask. Uh, really, you guys tell me what to read now. I used to have a blog roll that was pretty extensive, and I'd go through the blog roll once a day or several times a week just to kind of uh, see what people were talking about, people were writing. But I found that the more I spend time on Twitter and Facebook, the more I notice who is really good at finding excellent articles and, and blog posts. So what I've done is I've created these filters, these human filters using you guys to basically let me know what to read. So I don't have to guess. Uh, my reading list is a little bit more mixed uh, and a little bit more interesting now than it used to be. So you guys basically find the content and, uh, and I read it. So aside from that, I read a lot of books too. So let me share some of the books that I've kind of touched uh, in the last few weeks and months that might be of interest to you guys. So of course the first one is going to be Trust Agents by Chris Brogan and Julian Smith. Uh, if you haven't read this one, it's, uh, it's, it's really basic social media stuff and just good business and good relationship stuff for business. Um, but you should, you should definitely read it. If you haven't, I don't know, you're, you're probably a little bit behind because I think everybody in social media has read that one. Uh, another one that I have yet to read, uh, I got it in the mail or somebody <laughs> let me borrow it or something. I need to figure out who did so I can return it at some point. Um, but it's Pro Blogger Secrets for Blogging Your Way to a Six-Figure Income. Obviously, and at the end, well, the second part of your question, where we get to uh, in a few minutes, will uh, tell you that I have not read this book yet, obviously. Uh, another interesting one, here we go, Brains on Fire. Uh, these guys are in Greenville, South Carolina, just like me, so they're, they're very good neighbors. Um, and they're an, an agency or an identity company that works with, uh, with companies to create communities and enhance movements. So uh, the, this Brains on Fire book by Wiley also, just like Trust Agents, um, is a book you should pick up. It's, it, it's not specifically social media. It's, it's more social for business. Um, and then the, uh, some of it is offline, some of it is online. It basically kind of overlaps and applies to both. But that's definitely a very good book. Uh, that'll help you understand how to uh, how to leverage communities for a business or an organization or a uh, a nonprofit. Of course, uh, the Clue Train Manifesto is never far. So that one uh, by Basic Books. If you haven't read this, you should. It's not recent, but it's uh, it's just as uh, relevant today as it was when it came out. So um, definitely pick that up. Or if you already have it, pick it up again. Keep it near your desk. Flip through it every once in a while. Oh, here's one that's great. Design thinking, integrating innovation, customer experience, and brand value. Nobody I've ever met has read this book. Um, I don't know why. It's edited by Thomas Lockwood. What it is, it's like 14 or 15 chapters of uh, different authors writing on very specific issues. It is absolutely fantastic. This is one of the best books anybody has ever let me borrow, and I haven't returned it yet. And it's by Allworth Press with an A. Uh, so check it out. It's, again, it's edited by Thomas Lockwood, and it's got about 14, 15 authors in it. Design thinking. Really interesting one, Histories of Social Media by Jonathan Salem Baskin. Uh, it's uh, edited by, let's see, published by SC, I'm sorry, SNCR Press, I can't read. Um, it has a, a kind of like a, a French Revolution cover to it. I'm not going to tell you what it's about other than it is about social media kind of, but it's, um, it's much more interesting than that. It's, it's kind of a thin book. You can read it in one or two days, uh, but I definitely recommend it. It's unlike any other social media book out there, and it's very interesting. It kind of helps you um, uh, find a base for all the other stuff that you'll read about social media. Uh, let's see, Guy Kawasaki's Enchantment. Great book, just finished it. Um, it's it's kind of like the Clue Train Manifesto. Not quite as business shattering. Uh, it's not going to change your soul or anything, but it's excellent advice. And it's the kind of stuff that, that reads really easily. Um, and, and again, you'll want to keep it next to your desk so that you can kind of flip through it every once in a while and use it as a reference guide. I, I definitely recommend this book. And if you don't like it, give it to somebody. It makes a great gift. Uh, I thought it was really solid. Again, by the same publisher, this was uh, Portfolio Penguin. Uh, same one, Stephen Denny, Killing Giants, 10 Strategies to Topple the Goliath in Your Industry. Kick-ass book. Um, I thought it was going to be, eh, you know, okay. And, and it turned out to be really great. It's not about social media. It's about good business. Um, if you read this, it'll make you a better executive, better manager, better leader, 
and, and I don't say this of a lot of books. So this was kind of a, a really good surprise that I didn't expect it was going to be that great. Twit Faced by uh, Jacob Morgan and Josh Peters. Uh, very thin, skinny little book. It's really basic. It's a good book that you can give to your clients if they're just getting started with social media. Uh, and also I wrote a little piece in the back about social media ROI. So uh, I, I totally forgot about this. So I guess this was my first foray into uh, publishing before social media ROI. So check this out. And it's published by, uh, must be a really small uh, publisher, Clay Bridges Communications and Publishing in Troy, Ohio. Of course, Engage by Brian Solis. Uh, this is the first edition. Uh, I guess there's an Engage 2.0 now that I haven't seen. It's a little bit thinner than this one. They've cut out a lot of the content. Um, I wouldn't discredit this one. This one's a little complicated. It's a little bit more advanced than a lot of the books that I've, I've shown you so far. Um, so don't give it to a beginner client, but for you, it's probably going to be good. So check it out, Engage, and then Engage 2.0 if, uh, if you can get your hands on it. Delivering Happiness, the Zappos book, definitely a must read. Uh, that one's published by Business Plus. If you want to find out how Zappos kicks ass with uh, customer service, a lot of it's written here. So check that out. Um, I Love You More Than My Dog by Jean Bliss. Um, and afterward by Tony Shea's CEO of Zappos. So there's a little connection there. Five Decisions That Drive Extreme Customer Loyalty in Good Times and Bad. So this is a really good companion book to Delivering Happiness. Um, the wild card in my, uh, my book list today is Fascinate, uh, Your Seven Triggers to Persuasion and Captivation by Sally Hoxhead. Uh, I met Sally. She's a, a very nice lady. She's pretty smart. She's cool. Uh, and this was actually a pretty decent book, so I would definitely check it out as well. Uh, I don't think it's going to, again, be like earth shattering, but it's all very good advice and stuff that sometimes we just don't really think about. We just kind of take for granted, so it's nice to see it all in a book. And then, of course, I'm going to finish with the best book of the bunch. There are more, but we don't have time. Um, but I would be remiss if I didn't mention this one. I can't remember who wrote it. Uh, it's called Social Media ROI, Managing and Measuring Social Media Efforts in Your Organization by Q, an imprint of Pearson. And it is the best social media book ever written, bar none. I, I kid you not. So if you don't have this one yet, you should. Uh, and then the, uh, the second part to your question is, why haven't you selected tweet and Facebook like buttons on your blog? Is there any specific reason? Yes, because I'm a cheap bastard, and I'm also lazy as hell. No, I, I keep putting off the uh, the move from a dot wordpress dot com to an actual real website with like you know branded URL, um, and it's kind of the ongoing joke that that the the blog is called the brand builder, and my identity on Twitter because of the blog being called that is at the brand builder, and my quote unquote brand. Uh, is still in a, a dot wordpress dot blog website. It's it's kind of it's kind of ridiculous, but now I kind of enjoy having it keep going. But yes, I, I think uh, we're, we're getting pretty close to everything moving over to uh, to a real website, and then we'll have a lot more functionality. So you'll see all the like buttons and we'll share buttons and all that. So thanks for your question, and uh, hopefully I answered it halfway decently. All right, thanks. Bye. -bye.